almost every winter I head off to European summer because it's the smartest thing to do, really. And this winter I went to Zakynthos in Greece and ate one of the most beautiful meals I have had yet, yamista, which is basically black rice stuffed capsicums or zucchini or tomato. They can really stuff anything in Greece. Now it starts with some black rice. It does take quite a while to cook, so I soaked it a little beforehand and then into the water we go. Now it's going to need about 30 to 40 minutes. It doesn't matter if it is a little bit al dente because we're also going to bake it. So off we go with the lid in that one there. Now, of course, we need our lovely basis of a gorgeous sauce. So that always starts with onion. In we go. A bit of carrot now nicely diced up so it's all the same size so that it all cooks at the same time. And a bit of celery adds that lovely crunch in there. On with the flame, bit of olive oil, quite a lot actually, which is keeping them all young and limber there. Now, we can't have a Greek dish without a nice heavy dose of garlic. Now, I have my microplane. So I'm going to put about four cloves of garlic. Now, the reason I loved this recipe so much is it's made for a family. Community is big and it's proven now that when we have community around us, it's keeping us alive longer, which is what we want. So a bit more garlic there, anti-everything, anti-fungal, antibacterial. We'll just let those sweat off for a little second until they soften up. Now, we need to add a bit of liquid here, so I have some tomato paste, just to richen things up a bit, full of lovely antioxidant lycopene as well. A bit of red wine, because, of course, we have to have a bit of that. Two tins of Australian chopped tomatoes. In we go. And a bit of vegetable broth. Now you can use beef or chicken, but I've just gone with my vegetable broth. Now we're going to add a few herbs here because I really don't think that we can do European cooking without herbs. So I have here some mint, a bit of dill and some parsley as well as some oregano. So in we go, one tablespoon of dried oregano. You can use uh, fresh if you want to as well. Now I'm just going to chop up the lovely mint. You can be nice and rough because rustica cooking is how we do it in Greece. Bit of dill, really iconic to those lovely, gorgeous islands. That smells so good. In we go with the dill. And of course, we have our parsley here. Now you can keep a little bit extra just to top off your yamista at the end. And if you've got your own garden full of it, like normally there is in Greece, it's abundant. So you can add as much as you want. A bit of salt and pepper. Nice generous amount of Murray salt flakes there and some cracked black pepper. Now I'm going to just let this kind of cook off for about five minutes just to let that red wine reduce, the tomato just reduce down a little bit so it gets nice and thick. We are going to use a bit of this sauce just to layer the bottom of the baking dish here. Now with the rest, I'm going to just spider in some of that lovely black rice. Now, don't worry if it's a little undercooked because it will keep cooking just in the sauce and when we bake it. We're going to bake it for 50 to 60 minutes in the oven so it's got plenty of time. That colour is absolutely incredible. It's actually purple. The hue of that grain is purple. It's just so rich and oh, it's just a bit of a showstopper. Now we'll turn that off, let that cool down because we have some capsicums to stuff. I'm just going to spread the sauce out on the bottom. Just gives it a nice little base to sit on. Now we're just going to slice our capsicum because we want to keep the tops. And we want to just rip out the seedy bit so we have a nice little vessel. Perfect now to fill with the rice mixture. Now we'll just do the other ones. Getting rid of those seeds. You can put them on the compost heap. Just there. 
so full of antioxidants, this meal. I think that's why they're all living such a long time in these areas here. So we'll bring our pan over and we are going to start stuffing the capsicums. In we go. Now, it doesn't matter if you get a bit messy here. Good, wholesome, slow cooking is messy. In we go. Now, all the way to the top. Now, depending on how many people you are feeding, you can do as many as you want. You can stuff zucchinis, you can stuff tomatoes. Now, you'll notice I have a little bit of room around. Now, traditionally, they will grab things like potatoes, so it turns into a full-blown meal as they roast it off. So we want nice bits of potato around that will just roast in the oven because we're putting it in there for so long. We'll put our little tops on that just help it steam and cook inside as well. They also go kind of lovely and uh, wilted. On with that lid and into the oven. Just need a bit of foil on the top here. Open that oven and into the oven we go. been in there for 50 to 60 minutes. Just keep your eye on it uh, on 180 degrees so it gets a really nice slow cooking. Now, of course, if you have lots of people, you can smuggle in as many ingredients as you need. It's just me and a couple of friends today. Oh, that rice has cooked beautifully in there. So I'm going to grab just one of these. Don't worry if it falls down or anything like that. You can grab some of the tomato. You have a full meal now when you get some of the potatoes too. Now, of course, we have to taste. I'm not sure if it's gonna be as good as the one that I got homemade for me in Greece. Now, of course, we have to taste this black rice. Because mm. it was slow cooked, it soaked up all of that flavor from those herbs. And I really think this is the point of travel, to go away, get inspired, and then come home and try it in your own kitchen. Mm. 